I was raised in a Catholic family. I never really got the church, and things in my life just started falling apart, and I walked away. Flash forward four years, I'm sitting down with my husband, and we're having a cup of coffee at the table. I had caught something on Facebook. Pastor Terry was going to be doing this new series, and I said, I think it's time for me to go back. I just really started immersing myself in the church, and so I ground floor was in helping, ushering, greeting, wherever they needed me to be. I just felt like God was really calling me to come back. February 8th of 2019, I got the worst call of my life. My husband and I were just sitting down, we were just gonna relax, you know, getting into the weekend, and my son was on the phone, and he said, Mom, 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 something terrible has happened to Charlie. Charlie was my granddaughter, two years old, and he called me back five minutes later, and he said, Mom, they said she drowned, and they don't think she's gonna make it. I felt drawn to reach out to Pastor Terry, and I did. I messaged him and I said, I need your help, I need your prayers. And he messaged me back and said, can I send an email out to the congregation? I said, absolutely, please. And so what happened is her mother was in a relationship with a gang member who had lied. He had brought her into the hospital with an 80 degree body core temperature and said he found her in the bathtub face down when in reality, she suffered from blunt force trauma and he staged a death. She was brought in dead. She died again as they were preparing her for the flight. And then she died again on the flight over to Children's Hospital where we were met by the trauma team there and they told us that they didn't think that she was going to make it. She was in an induced coma for a week. Every day we were laying hands on her and praying for her. And church was just, you know, everybody at church was praying. And this family that I had been welcomed back into and been surrounded by just embraced our family and loved us through it. She woke up. We asked her if she knew who I was and she said, it's my Grammy. It was... <laughs> the most beautiful words I had heard in my life because we were told that she could be brain dead. She's five years old. She is funny, smart, and she loves church. She loves Pastor Terry. She's in school and thriving and happy and healthy. And I just felt like God knew that I was going to need him. And he said, I need for you to come back so that you can help save Charlie. And I don't think she'd be here today if I didn't come back. I've learned more about generosity being here than I ever have in my life. I've always felt like I've been giving and generous, but since I've come here, I've experienced a different kind of generosity and felt called to do more. This church is where I really need to be investing my time and my money into to help support and grow the mission so that other people's children, like my grandchildren, can grow up in a loving and caring and nurturing environment. What the world really needs is they really need to know that they're loved because there is a lot of people out there that are struggling, that are hurting, that really don't know that love, and we want to reach those people. And this church has really shown me that you're not alone. This is my home. It's, it's always going to be my home.